There have been many terrible things which have happened in 2020. We've seen societies divided, a rise in racism which most of us hoped and prayed was in decline. There's been the coronavirus pandemic and worse than that, the fucktards who don't believe in the coronavirus pandemic. But by far, the most evil thing to come out of 2020 is the continued rise in popularity of TikTok. TikTok is the social media platform of the idiotic, a place where millions of people eagerly post videos of themselves in order to show the rest of the world that they are mentally deficient. I briefly had the app and found 90 to 95 percent of the content to be total crap. Add to that that it comes laced with spyware, happily sending my personal information back to Beijing, and it didn't take me long to delete it. Also, there have been several TikTok viral challenges where people of below par intellect find new and inventive ways to injure or kill themselves. And the people most likely to use TikTok are the younger generation. Generation Z or Generation Z if you're from the New World. Born from the late 1990s to the present day, Generation Z are the most tech savvy people who've ever lived. They've never experienced a world without the internet or been without a smartphone. And as much as I think that the vast majority of younger people are stable and well adjusted, there is a small minority who fall into the stereotype of being crying, needy and unable to function in normal society. These are the young adults who can use their phone to order a takeaway but can't use an oven. They can order an Uber but can't drive a car and although that might not seem a big deal, for me being able to cook is an essential life skill. And if you can drive your own car rather than calling an Uber, you're less likely to be abducted by an Eastern European rapist. But it makes sense that we have these stereotypical Generation Z people in society. Because they were raised by stereotypical millennials. The harshest view of millennials, those who fit the stereotype, are people who are lazy, entitled and offended by everything. Growing up in a time of participation awards where competitions didn't have any winners and everyone was told they were special regardless of ability. So it's no wonder their kids are fucked up. These are people who as children were conditioned to see oppression everywhere, to be offended by everything and anyone who disagrees with them is a problematic right wing monster. The problem has gotten so bad that some schools and colleges are taking down analogue clocks because the wokest students in society find telling the time too traumatic. So how much have things changed? Well, I'm from Generation X and I learned to tell the time on my first day at school when I was three years old. And as for traumatic, well, when I was at school, we had classes on what to do if the Russians dropped an atomic bomb. But that pales into insignificance when compared to my grandparents' generation. Because when my grandfather was around 14 years old, he had a job as a motorcycle dispatch rider, which he did whilst the Luftwaffe were bombing the city. So what has any of this got to do with TikTok? Well, some young people who've been raised to be both fragile and narcissistic have taken to the social media site to get the same tattoo because in their words, they are the most emotional, caring, close and intelligent generation who's ever lived. Once again, I'm not lumping all Generation Z into the same pigeonhole. But the intelligent young people getting this tattoo possibly should have done some more research. So this is the design. The letter Z with a dash through the centre. And that's also the insignia of a division of the Waffen SS. Yes, the Waffen SS, Nazi Germany's elite paramilitary shock troops, responsible for normal military operations, as well as torture, execution, and ensuring racial purity. So not an ideal tattoo for someone constantly screaming that there are 6,000 different genders. And it doesn't help turning the symbol on its side because that's an ancient Germanic rune adopted by many white supremacist groups, including the Aryan Brotherhood. When this came to light, some people tried to rectify it by having the letters G-E-N tattooed in front of the Z, so it reads Gen Z. 
But sorry, those people have still unwittingly got a Nazi tattoo. Now, if someone fancied a skull and crossbones tattoo and didn't know that that was the symbol of the SS Death's Head, so try to put it right by having a flag put around it so it looks like a Jolly Roger on a pirate ship, they've still got a Nazi tattoo from nothing other than their own fucking ignorance. The most intelligent generation who've ever lived. And now I hope I have a chance to argue with one of them. Because if someone like me disagrees with one of these woke little bastards, they immediately go on the attack with me being a cisgendered, straight white male. Attacking me for my race, sexuality and gender, the things that they never stop banging on about. But now I have a counter argument. I can look at their tattoo and go, at least I don't support the ideology of the Third Reich. And if you happen to see one of these people complaining loudly that they can't find a designated safe space, why not suggest that they annex Poland and use that? So I guess the moral of this story is that if someone is thinking of getting a tattoo to show their allegiance to a group which claims to have intellectual superiority, it's worth spending time on Google researching the tattoo design. Either that, or just make up your own mind rather than relying on fucking TikTok. Thanks for watching.